Welcome to Wager on Tilt, everyone. I am T, and today we're going to be getting back into Microsoft Excel. We're going to be going through how can you use league average scores to create kind of a metric in which you can then predict other teams' scores for upcoming games. Now, in this, this is a very basic thing to do, so please don't just run out and start betting at the sports book with this information. You're probably going to lose if you use a simple model of this level. Uh, however, these are the basics, so you can bolt onto this other things that you know, other ideas, other statistics, or methods of doing predictive analysis. But this is the basics on how can I take league averages, calculate a metric, and then see how a team will probably perform as the away team or as the home team. Now, in this, we are going to be using some of the formulas that we used in the prior video of the series. Uh, so if you have not seen that, I would suggest you go back to the other video see how the formulas work so that you have a little bit of an understanding and you can kind of follow this as more of a walkthrough within the content. All right, so that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and dive on in. So for this basic build, what we're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and head over to basketballreference.com and we're gonna go ahead and select seasons and then come into the 2022-2023 and you, you'll see right here, schedule and results. If you go ahead and click on that, this is gonna open up this screen now, if we scroll on down, we're gonna see that we have all of our season information right here. And this is gonna be useful for, we're gonna use this to predict out early stuff for the NBA. Now, again, in here, you're gonna see a lot of like links and things like that. You don't need to worry about that. What we really care about getting is the scores as to whether they are home or away. Now, you are gonna to have to click through some different tabs here because you have month by month. If you have a web scraper or a Python scraper or something like that, go ahead and use it to collect the data. So if you wanna be able to pull out this data quickly, uh, another method that you can do is go ahead and go to the share and export, click this and then choose table as a CSV. And when it does that, it's gonna drop it into here. And this is a little bit easier to copy and paste out. So I've gone ahead and added a worksheet into this workbook and this sheet is called Away. And I went ahead and copy and pasted in all of the information that we were seeing. And from there, what I did was I sorted by the visitor value. Then I created a new worksheet by hitting the plus button at the bottom of Microsoft Excel. And it created a new sheet and I titled it Home. And then from there, I went ahead and sorted the same information by home. So I went in here, created a sheet, called it away, pasted in the values, sorted by the away team, had the same information, pasted it into another sheet, called that sheet home, and then sorted by the home value. So the next thing we're gonna do is create another sheet, and I just call this sheet dashboard. And we'll go ahead and click the away tab. We're gonna click this entire column, hit control C to copy it. Go back into the dashboard tab that we just created. Hit control V to paste it. Then I'll come up into data. And then in here you scroll over, you're gonna see this icon. This is gonna to be to remove duplicates. We'll click remove. And we only want it to remove for here. So we're just gonna say continue with current selection. And it's gonna remove our duplicates. So now we only have our team information. And I'm just gonna change this header to teams and bold it to make it a little bit easier to see. And we'll sort by this value as well. Sort teams, okay. So now it's sorted alphabetically. That way if you have something changed over here from one of these sheets and it's in a reverse or something like that, or you failed to sort it properly, you'll make sure that you're sorting it properly over here. So remember what we're trying to do is build a model around saying this is how strong the offense is, this is how strong or weak the defense is, and this is what it would be like if these two teams played each other. So what we're gonna need to do is then find the starting row of this information from the other sheets. So I'm gonna call this starting away. And what we wanna do is use the match function to go ahead and find the information in the away sheet. So to do this, it's pretty simple. You just hit equals match, you select the team, hit a comma, you click the sheet tab down below that says away. So when I click the away, it's gonna open up the away tab. And then I'm just gonna select this column because this is the column of the away teams. And then I'm just gonna hit comma again, add a zero and close my parenth. And then that way it's saying, we are starting Atlanta Hawks on row two. 
I'll copy this and I'll scroll down and paste it all the way down. So we can kind of spot check these Boston Celtics then should start on row 47. So if we come in here, first Boston Celtics game is on row 47, so we're good. So these are the starting rows. So the next thing we need to know is the count. So I'm gonna say away count. And what we're gonna to wanna to do is a similar thing here. So we can kind of copy this, right? Copy it and we'll paste it here. But when we're counting, right, we're gonna say count if, and we need to update this. So it's checking column C to C and we're gonna paste in our value. That means there's 45 games that they have as an away, and we can double check that. And in the lower right of Excel, it'll give us the count, which is showing me 45. So now that we have that, let's go back to the dashboard and just copy and paste the formula all the way down. Copy, paste, and now we have our counts. So. Now we need to figure out what the end row is. So all we're gonna have to do is say, if it starts here and there's 45 records, we can add these two together and then subtract one. And then that will give us the full range. So we'll know which is the actual ending row. So we'll say up here, away, end. And then I'm just gonna say equal this plus this minus one, copy and paste it all the way down, which means that Atlanta is going to end on 46 and Boston will end on 96. So Atlanta ends on 46, which is good. And Boston ends on 96. So the formula works. Now, if you don't want to have a bunch of additional columns like this, you can actually blend these two things together where you can just say, I want this all as one formula, this thing here. So to do that, we're just going to go ahead and show it real quick away blended end and I'm just going to go ahead and say equal and I'm going to actually steal the formula from in here count to if plus match a2 from away c to c zero minus one so all we're doing here is basically combining these formulas all together to give us the same one. So as you can see here, this is a little bit smaller versus having to do all of these columns. So that's what we're gonna work with right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and hide these two because usually this is how you'll do it. You'll write it this way. So here we have starting row and ending row. So we're gonna go ahead and say away points four away points against. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the average of the away points for and the away points against. So if we come into our away sheet, we're gonna go ahead and scroll up. And when we scroll up, we see that the points is in column D. So what we can do is we're gonna say equal average. Now we're gonna use the indirect and use these two values here to build a range. So I'm gonna say indirect, and then I'm gonna say away D, and then we're gonna pass in B2, then we're gonna hit colon, then we're gonna type indirect, away D, and E2, and add our last parenth, and it's saying on average, when they're away, Atlanta Hawks score 116 and a half points. Now we can go ahead and validate that by coming in here. You just click and drag through all of these records that have the Atlanta Hawks. And then in the lower right, it'll give you the average, which is showing 116.57, 116.57. So we can go ahead and copy and paste this all the way down. Done. Now we need to see what is the average points that they've allowed. Well, this is pretty simple. If they're away, which is what the sheet is focused on, their points allowed is merely gonna be column F. So we don't have to do too much. We can take the points away, copy it, and then we're just gonna go ahead and change D to F for this actual indirect formula. If 
by doing that, we're going to go ahead and get the average allowed. So right here again, average allowed is 118. We'll go into the away sheet. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here to where Atlanta ends. And Microsoft Excel is saying 118.37 is the average. 118.37 matches here. So we know this formula is good. So what we're gonna do then is go ahead and take this information and do the same thing for the home team. So we can go ahead and do that here really quick. And I'm just gonna take this info, this, this, and this, copy and paste it here. And I'm just gonna change out where it says away. I'm gonna change it to home. So away is now gonna be called home. Now be sure that when you're doing it, you're doing it that you only are selecting these cells here to switch the names out. Otherwise you're gonna switch out away everywhere on your sheet and that's not gonna work out well for you. So we're just gonna come in here and copy this and bring it on over, hit paste, and then we're just gonna change what sheet it's actually on and say this is going to be a match on home and that's going to be in column E. Now again if you sorted by name a lot of these are going to be very similar numbers uh, just depending upon how many games they've played and other teams have played so they should be pretty close so Atlanta Hawks starts with an A so it should start on the same one uh, Boston should start on a very similar one, right? So it's only off by one there. So then we're going to take this formula, same thing. Instead of column C, right, which is here in the away, we're actually going to be using column E, which is here for the home. So we're just going to go ahead and update that as well. So away is becoming the word home. And then we're going to go ahead and update C to C to E to E. So all we're doing is using the formulas we've used before and just making some quick updates so that it makes sense when we're looking at home information. So now that we've got the home blended, we're going to look at the home points for. So then to do these away points, we're going to switch it over to home, but we need to reference H and I instead. So we're going to say home, so quote home, and the scores are stored in F. And I'm going to switch out over here as well. So quote home and update this to say F. And instead of B2, it's actually going to use H2. Instead of E2, it's going to use I2. And we're going to get that. Now, same thing again, right? We are looking at the home info. So let me go to home. So this is the home info. Here's the scores. So for the points they gave up, it'll be in column D. So we can go ahead and do this real quick. So take this formula instead for your home, come over to your points against, and we're just gonna switch F into D. So it's the exact same behavior that we did for when calculating the away information. We're just switching it all out to our home data. Boom. And now we have all this information in here for all of these teams. So let's go ahead and try and zoom out real quick a little bit on this so you can see. Right, so now we've got a lot of good home information. Let's go ahead and highlight and double click in that center um, with the double arrow and that kind of tightens all of the data up. So we've got a lot of good info in here. So let's go ahead and for now hide which rows and columns things are in. So I'm gonna hide this one and I'm gonna go ahead and hide this one. This way we can only need to see this data for right now. So here, let's go ahead and bold this. Now we've gone ahead and gotten points for and points against when somebody's playing away and points for and points against when they're playing home. And this is all based on the data that we collected from basketball reference and put into an away sheet and a home sheet. All right, so now that we have that, we need to do a couple more things that are just little basic inventory things. So let's come over here and we're gonna say league average away points four, that we'll just say PF is points four. Then we'll say league average away points, and I'm just gonna switch this out to PA for points against. I'm just gonna copy these two, come down and hit paste, and then go ahead and flip this info. All right, and I'm just gonna bold all of this. There we go, right there. All right, so now it's bold. So basically what we wanna do is now say, 
what is the league average? We need the league average for these things so that we can kind of create a metric or a number that we can use to quantify how certain teams are playing uh, against others. So in order to get this information, this is relatively easy. We know that when you're away, the points for are stored in column D based on our formula, right? Because we're collecting all of this info from column D to get our away points for and our points against are gonna be in F. So for the average away points for, I can go ahead and either copy and paste this out or you can just go ahead and type it out yourself. And we'll just say equals average and then we'll say away D to D, hit enter. So on average, the points four is 113.0303. So as you can see here, uh, Atlanta is above, Brooklyn is slightly below, uh, Denver is slightly below, right? So that, that's just based on the average on the numbers that we pulled in. So what we can do is take this information, paste it down here, and just switch out this to F, okay? And we'll make that bold. Now, this is one of the things that kind of trips people up. These numbers are gonna be just inverted when it comes to home, right? Because we just said that the average that an away team gives up is 115. Another way of saying that is the average amount that a home team scores is 115. So you can flip these and just hand type them if you want. You can invert them with if you want by just saying like equals this, right, and doing that. Or you can say equals average home F to F, which then gets us the same thing, right? And you can do the same thing again here. Equal average home D to D and there. So again, you'll see that these are the same. That's to be expected, right? Because you're just seeing it from a different perspective. This is what it's like when I'm away. This is like what I'm home. So now that we have that, that's gonna be useful for trying to create this uh, comparison metric. So what we'll do here is we'll grab Atlanta Hawks and I'm just gonna compare them against somebody. Let's go ahead and look in here who they played against. Uh, let's grab 76ers. So Atlanta played against them. So we're gonna put them up top because they are the home team. Atlanta was the away team. So now what we can do is we're gonna start comparing their information. Now to do this, I wanna go ahead and pull in a couple of things for the Hawks. So first I wanna get their actual value of, you know, their away points for. So I'm gonna go ahead and say equal indirect, and I'm gonna say F and match M8 from A to A, zero for that perfect match, and that way it pulls it in. So this is just gonna be points four. All right, so we have our points four for this team, and we'll do the same thing for the record above for the 76ers. So we're gonna pull this up. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is for the 76ers, instead of saying away points four, we want it to be the home points four. So we're just gonna go ahead and put J, which is right there. All right, so now we're gonna say points against. And for the points against, this is where I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing, but now I'm just gonna pull in a different column. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this, tab over, paste it, and switch it from J to K. And then I'm gonna do the same thing here. Take this copy and paste it over here, and switch out F to G. So now we have their points for and against. So what we need to do is now create the metric, so we're gonna say points for metric, and points against metric. Now again, you can do a lot of this stuff combined in Microsoft Excel into a single formula, but I'm trying to break this out so that you can kind of understand it a little bit better. So for the metric, we wanna compare how well do the 76ers score against a team on average. So we're gonna say equals their value of their average points for when they're home by the home points for, right? So points for, points for. So they're shooting a little bit below the league average 
and we're going to want to do the same for the Atlanta Hawks. So we're going to say equal when they're away, they're points four, and we'll say divided by the league average away points four is 1.03. So they're shooting a little bit better than the league average. And then for the points against, you'll do the same thing. So points against divided by the home points against, and we'll say equals the Hawks points against, right? By the away points against. So now you have the metric, right? So they shoot better than average and they let up more points than average. So you can kind of look at this and already start thinking there might be a faster paced team as well, right? More points are being scored from both sides of the ball. So that's kind of important to know here. All right, so now that we have these metrics and everything in place, we're gonna go ahead and set up our predictions. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paste this here. Now again, you can use a formula to do this, to like reference this information, but I'm just gonna click in and say equals the points four times their offensive metric times the opponent's defensive metric. And there you go. So then I'm gonna do the same thing now inverse. So the team's offense average times the team's offense metric times the defense's metric. So we're going to say 113.27 to 115.625. So like I said, that is basics, right? We dealt with pretty much all of the records of the season. We were then trying to use that as predictive analysis. Now, again, you don't want to use existing data to predict a previous event. If you're doing that, that event has already been accounted for. So you want to be able to look forward. So if you're using 2023 game data, um, you're going to want to use games that have happened prior to the one you're comparing against. So if you're going to look at a game that's going to happen in early 2024, then you can use 2023 data. Um, if you want to try and do early 2023 basketball season projections and things like that and see how your model's working, then you'd want to probably use the prior season's information. In the next video, we're going to discuss how do you do that and how can you quickly do that with formulas in Microsoft Excel. If you found this content helpful, please give it a thumbs up. That way everybody will be able to start seeing this because it'll bubble up to the top of the YouTube algorithm. Also, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to reach me in the comments. You can drop a comment and I will reply to you uh, with however I can assist you. You can also reach me on Twitter at wagered on tilt or X if you want to call it X. To me, it's still Twitter. You can also reach me in the unabated Discord as the T. So hopefully you found that useful and you're going to be able to start building out some basic predictive analysis via Microsoft Excel. Until next time, happy wagering.